My name is Captain Olimar. While travelling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. Hmm. It must have blacked out, and I woke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine's gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment, environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support system can, uh, can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then... No! Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Right! Oh wow, it's been a while since I played this. Okay. Where are we? Where are we going? Uh, uh huh. Oh, there it is. A strange thing has appeared before me. I'd barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Okay. So while we're waiting on that to sprout, I'm just gonna knock these bad boys down. The seed that the onion drop took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it's calling to me. I'm compelled, I no, I must approach it and press A. <laughs> and press A. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I should call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive. And yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try and grab it and throw it with A, and then recall it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will like to see an X as well. The following... Oh, okay. Right, we're just gonna skip that. Okay, so you go pick that up. Right, we'll bring back this pallet back. There we go. I don't know why I'm doing the sound effects while it fucking pops on its own. Okay. Astonishing! The onion has sowed more seeds. The small red pellet the har Pikmin harvest that after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Okay, if you pick that up, and we're just gonna three your friends and pick them There we are. Just to come with me, and we're gonna shift the big boy. There we go. You just carry that. Wait, what? And you go. There we go. Just to may as well help with this when you can. There we go. 
Yay! Right, we're up to 12, so we should be able to push the cardboard box out the way. Um, okay, there it is. Okay, my minions. Charge at the box! There we go. Oh. I like the idea that that's the same Pikmin standing next to me as the first one that I plucked. He's like the foreman. <laughs> Do it. Hmm. Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned about of Pikmin conduct. Oh god, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Huzzah! My engine! It is the engine, isn't it? Amazing! There's no mistake in it. My ship's engine rests before me, my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But, how will I get it back to the dolphin? Well, you see... Should do it. And we will let the minions sorry, the Pikmin. Um bring everything back home. When many Pikmin speeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me it was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get all of them done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright colour. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between them. Sure. There we go. Right, we're just waiting for these to sprout, and then we should be able to shift the uh, engine part. Okay. Okay, I'm on, little dudes. Let's go. Charge! Okay. What does I actually say about it, anyway? Dolphin's main engine. It was pure luck that I found this piece first. With this, I can at least lift off. True. Here we go. Hey! Okay, so we'll just reshuffle the back a bit. Uh, we'll move the uh, gear stick down into first gear. Huzzah! Okay, uh, okay, and the Pikmin are off. Oh, glorious! With the help of the Pikmin, I've just taken a huge step uh, back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search? Well, that starts tomorrow. Since impact, I've somehow managed to launch the dolphin. 
but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin can't survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or maybe they've merely decided to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems they'll help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on the planet Hokkaido. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? Dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I've named it the Forest of Hope. Explore it tomorrow. Okay. And now the real jungle begins. Let's do it. Turn to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Right, let's just bring a lot of them out because we are going to need them for this. Um, and what we're going to do is start propagating already because we're going to have to get quite a big population. Um, right. Come with me. Oh, you little shite. Another intriguing discovery. A local very variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apparent, this apparent Pikmin favourite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths and particularities of these flower Pikmin. Well, the fact that pretty much Every one of them that I've got them out is a flower pack. It's good. Practical levels. Come with me. Come on. Alright, I need you to knock this wall down. Bulborgs. Bulborgs. Right. The gates are down. Okay, one down. Next one down. Go, 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 go. You just killed them, so you do get the spoils. But um, we might need to... Save the big one, I think. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Save the wee ones, but take that because that is red anyway, so it's probably necessary to some extent. Right, you pick that up as well. What's this anyway? Why? It's the external fuel dy dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. It won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. I won't have to even. 
This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. This should light things up. No more candles for me. Okay, cool. So, yeah. That's fine. Alright, just stand there. I'm gonna start plucking these. We were up to... 57. Oh, shabby, actually. Wasn't great, but it'll do. Soldiers, bring them down! Go on, go, 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 go! Just let him calm down, and he'll go back to sleep. It's all right. There we go. Come on. Bring him down! There we go. Okay. Right, I need the majority of you to be hammering this wall. I said the majority of them, but I mean, I've literally just got every single one of them. Yeah, we'll do the same again. We'll bring down the big guy. And we should be able to move all of the spoils of war. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lure, lure the little one away from that. Should be able to. Come on. There we go. Okay. That thing's gonna be pissed. Actually, before we carry on. The clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So, it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Um, yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay, that's also fine. Yellow! <laughs> cool. Um, we'll also start using these guys as well. to dramatically increase the yellow population really quickly. Um, so, yeah. We'll just leave you guys over there for now. The colour is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First hand suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered a very large, uh, very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways uh, might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter. They're obviously quite similar, so I'll call this one a Pikmin as well. No, no, no. Stay away from dealings with a yellow because you'll take everything back to your own ship at that point and it's just going to cause a pain in the ears. So we have nine. Damn it. Okay, well, that's fine. Tell you what then. So if we throw, 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 one, two, three. Right. 
So we want, really want to get this big guy back in because that's going to just shoot up the population. So. You just jump onto that. And we'll use our drone in. We're just... Didn't sound right. So if you pick up these... The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin, but just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there is tremendous power locked to be within. This merits further research. Yeah, I agree. Um. Come on. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin pick up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. Yeah, yeah basically, they decide to just drop them um, if you use your whistle. That's the kind of general gist of it. Quickly. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just when I was about about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds. Yet, the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 can be in the field at one time in any area. Yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to do is just make sure that I've got a decent population. Um, because, yeah, it's. For the most part, I think I'm going to be using red for the majority of the heavy lifting, which means that anything else really needs to have that population kind of stored away. You know, there are situations where I'll be using yellow over red, but it's not, not as often. Red seems to be the more common one, just because they're better at battling, so they're more likely to lose people than... Um, anybody else. Do you know, I don't know why I'm having these red Pikmin just sitting about. They really could just be bringing back that, um, we got that craft that we had. Right, pick up the dynamo. Join in, man. In you go. Okay, or don't. Fine. I'll get back out. There we go. If I'm quick, I might be able to bring down this wall as well. Come on. The less I have to fart around with, the better, really. So we'll do the same again. Three. Oh. There we go. Now we have light. I've now recovered two out of three parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Come on. Ah. Right. We're gonna store you in. Grab you two. We 
clock is indicating uh, the approach of sunset. Pikmin are waiting beneath the dolphin and the onions. Probably, uh, will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call these stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I'm sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. Yeah, basically just don't be an arse. Bring them home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck two bombs at that wall. We did actually bring it down somewhat, which is good. Um, you lot jump in. We should only need one more bomb for that, I think. And yeah, that would be us. Okay, cool. And the last two Pikmin that we've got are the two yellow ones here. So, yeah. Right, do you know what? I don't think it's even necessary to do that. Uh, yeah. Let's just go to sunset. Uh, yes. Alright, well done, folks. On you just go. Okay, cool. Two days since the impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, um, I should be able to use the radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I don't have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms here. If, I'm, if I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it and press A to make those suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter at the bottom left corner screen. Okay, yeah, that that entire day was pretty much focused on trying to get the yellow population up as much as possible, while still increasing red. 